वेलकम टू वंडरस्लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्विज इज स्ट्रक्चरिंग डेटाबेस फॉर अकाउंटिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 डेटा प्रोसेसिंग इन्वॉल्व्स द टेक्निक ऑफ कलेक्टिंग ऑप्शन ए सॉर्टिंग ऑप्शन बी इंटरप्रेटिंग ऑप्शन सी कंप्यूटिंग ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ देम The correct answer is option D. All of them. Data processing involves the technique of collecting, sorting, relating, interpreting and computing data items in such a manner as to provide meaningful and useful information for decision making. Question number 2. The necessary steps involved in data processing cycle are option A. Data capturing, option B. Inputting, processing. option c generating information option d all of them the correct answer is option d all of them the necessary steps involved in data processing cycle are data capturing inputting processing and generating information available to the user data processing cycle when thought of in the context of accounting requires a series of steps question number 3 the first step is to capture accounting data from transactions so as to prepare a document option a input of data option b source documents option c data storage option d voucher The correct answer is option D voucher the first step is to capture accounting data from transactions so as to prepare a document called voucher as already stated earlier that expresses and documents an accounting transaction question number 4 anything in the real world with independent existence is called option A entities option B attributes option C relationships option d instance the correct answer is option a entities anything in the real world with independent existence is called entity such as an object with physical existence for example car person house or conceptual existence for example a company job university course account voucher question number 5 an entity has a underscore for each of its attributes which is the data stored in the database option a value option b object option c entity option d entity type the correct answer is option a value an entity has a value for each of its attributes which is the data stored in the database question number 6 absence of a data item is represented by a special value option a multi valued attributes option b null values option c derived attributes option d complex attributes The correct answer is option B null values absence of a data item is represented by a special value called null value question number 7 the composite and multi valued attributes may be nested or grouped to constitute option A single valued option B multi valued option C complex ones option D stored The correct answer is option C complex ones the composite and multi valued attributes may be nested or grouped to constitute complex ones question number 8 underscore among two or more entity types represents an interaction among their respective entities option A attribute option B relationship 
Option C. Entity. Option D. Identifier. The correct answer is Option B. Relationship. Relationship among two or more entity types represents an interaction among their respective entities. Whenever an attribute, say debit, of one entity type, say vouchers, refers to another entity type, say accounts, there exists a relationship between these entities, vouchers and account. Question number 9. Entity types, which do not have identifier, or key attributes, of their own are, called, Option A. Null. Option B. Entities. Option C. Weak entity type. Option D. Attribute. The correct answer is Option C. Weak entity type. Entity types, which do not have identifier or key attributes of their own, are called weak entity types. Such entity types are identified by being related to specific entities from another entity type in combination with some of their attribute values. Question number 10. The underscore data model represents the database as collection of relations, which resembles a table of values, or data table. Option A. Hierarchical database model. Option B. Relational model. Option C. Network model. Option D. Entity Relationship Model The correct answer is Option B. Relational Model The relational data model represents the database as collection of relations, which resembles a table of values, or data table. Each row of the table, therefore, represents a collection of related data values and hence typically corresponds to real-world entity or relationship. Question number 11. A row is called A. Option A. Attribute. Option B. Domain. Option C. Relation. Option D. Tuple. The correct answer is. Option D. A table has rows and columns, where rows represents records and columns represent the attributes. Tuple minus a single row of a table, which contains a single record for that relation is called a tuple. Question number 12. A column header is called an Option A. Tuple. Option B. Relation. Option C. Attribute. Option D. Domain. The correct answer is Option C. Attribute. Question number 13. Accounts is name of the relation which has underscore attributes. Option A. 1. Option B. 2. Option C. 3. Option D. 4. The correct answer is Option C. 3. Accounts is name of the relation which has three attributes. Code equals identity of account. Name equals names of account. Type equals category of account. Question number 14. How many constraints can be specified on relational databases? Option A. 1. Option B. 2. Option C. 4. Option D. 4. The correct answer is Option D. 4. There are four different constraints which can be specified on relational databases. These are Domain Constraint, Key Constraint, Entity Integrity Constraint, Referential Integrity Constraints. Question number 15. The name SQL stands for Option A. Server Query Language. Option B. Structured Query Language Option C Subscript Query Language Option D Simple Query Language The correct answer is Option B 
Structured Query Language Question number 16 Data Query Language DQL Which is a subset of underscore Option A Structured Query Language Option B Database Management System Option C Relational Database Management System Option D None of them The correct answer is Option A Structured Query Language Data Query Language DQL Which is a subset of Structured Query Language SQL is widely used to answer most of the basic queries. The basic set of queries consists of those for which the select from where structure. Question number 17. A collection of programs that enable users to create and maintain a database. Option A. Database Management System. Option B. Relational Database Management System. Option C. Structured Query Language. Option D. Entity Relationship The correct answer is Option A. Database Management System A collection of programs that enable users to create and maintain a database is known as Database Management System. Question number 18. Underscore represent the database at collection of tables comprising different volumes. It consists of rows and columns. Option A. Relation Data Model, RDM. Option B. Entity Relationship, ER, Model. Option C. Database System Concepts and Architecture. Option D. Database. The correct answer is. Option A. Relation Data Model. RDM, it represents the database at collection of tables comprising different volumes. It consists of rows and columns. The table name and column name are used to help in interpreting the meaning of volumes of each row. Each row of table is called a data record. Question number 19. An underscore type is defined as a collection of entities. Option A. Entity type. Option B. Entity set. Option C. Entity instance. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option A. Entity type. Question number 20. Which is not the major elements of ER model. Option A. Entities. Option B. Attributes. Option C. Identifiers. Option D. Normalization. The correct answer is. Option D. Normalization. Dot the major elements of ER model are entities, attributes, identifiers and relationships that are used to express a reality for which a database is to be designed. The model is best depicted with the help of ER symbols. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.